I forgot, I wasn't gonna give up the mic that easy. Peter's, Peter's dad, Jeff, had forwarded a message from Australia that he asked me uh, to read to all of you. So I'm gonna read this and I'm going to uh, turn it over to uh, Peter and I think you'll be impressed by what Peter has to say. Before I read this, Peter, you heard what Coach Pazzo said, right? I'll get a comment. Isn't that a bunch of crap? I'll get a comment. <laughs> I won't get into it because I like the guy. All right? All but one night. Um, from Jeff Hooley, Peter's dad, and from Emma, his twin sister. To all our de dear family and friends in the U.S., thank you so much for all your love and friendship over the last few years, especially the last 12 months. Together we, can help, together we can all help to make a difference in the fight against cancer. Today is such, a, such an important and emotional time for many people battling this illness, and we want you to all know that we are traveling this path with you. Thank you for not only the invite for Pete to attend, but to win your inspirational award, and I know his mom is watching over him with so much pride. Cancer can be defeated, but we need to keep fighting it, never giving up. To Will and Jamie, a, a massive thanks for everything you do, not only for Pete, but all you do for this great cause. Cancer will be defeated, and I pray sooner than later. Uh, I'm sorry, and I pray the sooner the better. Our family's love and support to everyone out there who has cancer or knows someone with cancer, stay strong. A message from my darling wife, Sue. Cancer can't destroy true friendship. It cannot conquer your spirit, and it cannot lessen your love. Take care, love you all, Jeff and Emma. I'll, uh, I'll try and keep the uh, Sienna stuff separate. Although, <laughs> although Freddie did say the numbers never lie, that's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, this award really does mean a lot to my family and I. It's been a tough few years, and especially last few months. But we managed to get through, because that's just what mum would have wanted. She's always been my own inspiration, but she was also an inspiration of people than I could ever realise. So this award really has her name all over it. I'll just accept it for her. Five years ago, when she was first diagnosed with cancer, I was truly ready to put my life on hold and just stay at home with her. It just didn't feel right to leave my family at such an important time. But she made me come here. She always preached to my sister and I that making others happy was the best feeling in the world and that whatever we wanted, we could follow whatever path we chose. But that's just who she was. She knew the battle she was facing, but she would never make sure she did anything for herself. She'd always make sure her family was okay before herself. Throughout the last five years that she battled it, there were many times that I was ready to give up. I was ready to just throw the towel in. I just couldn't fathom why bad things happened to good people and why my mum couldn't beat it. I couldn't see any answers, so I just wanted to give it all away. But it was only recently but I looked back over all the years and realised that the answers were there all along. I believe that she did beat it, for the way that she lived her life throughout her time with cancer shows that it can never really take you away. The fact that my mum kept a smile for so many years, through all the chemo, all the surgeries and all the sleepless nights in hospital, it shows you that cancer can never really win, and it never will. Those last few nights I slept in the hospital to be with her, it completely changed me. I wasn't in a good place. I was picturing sitting on the edge of the sky, right between the dark and the light, not knowing which way I would fall. But worse, I wasn't sure which way I wanted to. But it was only when I looked at Mum, as she went through this battle, to stay so beautiful, that I realised that the dark side doesn't exist. Don't get me wrong, there are dark times, but there is a light all around us. Through all this, it's opened my eyes to what is truly valuable in life, that being family and making others happy. I've also learned that it's okay not to be okay. You don't have to bottle it all up. You're allowed to fall because you're surrounded by so many people ready to pick you up if you do. And maybe, more importantly than anything I've ever accomplished in my life, my eyes have been open to the fact that all this time, I hadn't been following my path, I'd been following my mum's. I said from the start that if my story managed to inspire just one person, then it had done its job. From the anonymous messages and phone calls to the people coming up to me on the street, I've seen firsthand the impact my mum has had on this world, and it brings me to tears every time. But maybe it was one particular moment that happened recently which really made me stop and take a step back. I was walking around a football game and a man came up to me and just gave me a hug and he said God bless you and your family and just kept walking. I'd never met this man before nor had I ever spoken to him. Well, so why do you do that? 
I couldn't figure it out. And as I walked away, I just looked up to the heavens and smiled. Chances are that we all know someone very close to us who's been affected by cancer. But it's the way they fight, they smile and they love that is so inspiring to us. I believe that there are two ways to live your life. One is that nothing is a miracle, and the other is that everything is a miracle. And the way we see these people battle this horrible disease and stay the beautiful person that they are through all this pain is really an incredible miracle. But have you ever stopped to realise just how inspiring you all are to them? You truly have no idea how inspirational we all are to the world. Not in what you do necessarily, but just in who you are. Inspiration comes in many forms. A simple smile to a friend who is close to falling apart will give them the strength to pull through. So as you live each day, you'll encounter people's struggles who you won't know. But remember the way a pair of eyes lighten up when greeted with civil kindness. And because of that, we all continue to show just how beautiful the world can be. This past summer, I was blessed to have the opportunity to play for my country in Asia. My roommate for the trip was one of my longtime good friends, Hugh Greenwood. His mum is currently battling secondary terminal breast cancer. I knew that at one point over the six weeks we were together, that we were going to have a talk about it all. I just wasn't sure when, but even worse, I wasn't sure if I was ready for it. After about five weeks together, I came back into the room one night and just saw him standing there, staring out the window. I asked him if he was okay, and he just looked at me, and he said, how'd you do it? How'd you get back up after it all? And I looked him right in the eyes, and I didn't have an answer. I really just wanted to be there and cry with him. But I gave him a hug, and I told him that when the time comes, you'll find a way. I told him to keep your family close because they're everything you'll ever need in your life. But to me, that was probably the scariest part of it all. Trying to gather the strength to be ready to pick my family up and we would all inevitably fall. But I did it, and I did it for my mum. I live for her and my family as they do for me. And I'll forever continue to live in the path that she's created for me. And I know she's with me every step of the way. And Hugh is one of the strongest people I've ever met. And I know his family will continue to be with him. Cancer can never really take away who my mum was, but then again, cancer can never really take away my mum. Because as I move forward in my life, those beautiful qualities that she had are becoming so evident in everyone close to me. I'm really starting to see that now. The inspiration she was to those around her lives on. And it's those beautiful qualities that cancer can never take, because it's that beauty that shows us that cancer can never win. I'm truly blessed to have been given my own guardian angel, and I'm truly blessed to have been given the perfect family. My dad and my sister give me all I need to ever be okay. And even though I move forward in my life with one piece missing, it's when I close my eyes and pray to her that I feel complete. I'm glad my story has managed to help people, and I hope it continues to do so. Through all my mum has done for me and everyone else, I hope to continue to inspire people in whatever they need. I plan to keep the focus on what mum preached to me as I grew up, and that's to make everyone else happy before myself. It's something that I pride myself on, because I know it's a quality her and I both share. So each day you wake up, make sure you tell those who you're close to you just how much you care about them and love them. Not because you might run out of time, but because they're here now and it's truly worth saying something. Thank you very much.